problem does exist of the fuel-powered trams which ran for over 60 years. Dating from 1924, 94 was the first of a new design of 51 petrol trams built by the East India Tramways Company. After the war, 13 cars were built with diesel engines. Fuel pumps dominated the entrance to the depot and works facility off Bunder Road. Karachi's first couple of English-built petrol trams had displaced some horse trams in 1909. Then the British-financed East India Tramways Company gradually expanded its operations until the system was more or less completed by 1916. Conversion from petrol to diesel started in the late 30s, just before the system was acquired by the Muhammad Ali Tramways Company. Ray Muller, a captain in the American Merchant Navy, took these scenes shortly after his ship had docked. Latterly, service on this three-mile route to the port only operated at peak times, ferrying dock workers to and from central Karachi. All the cars were 28 feet long and rode on eight-foot wheelbase trucks. Latterly, they had simplex gearboxes and Perkins P4 engines mounted beneath the center seat. Look out for telltale wisps of exhaust fumes. During his visit, Jeff Todd captured all the atmosphere of this bustling tramway with its fleet of 64 virtually identical vehicles. All seated 50 passengers on five sets of back-to-back -back benches with padded backs. Those seats behind the driver were officially reserved for ladies only. The conductor made regular use of the footboards and in bad weather shutters could be lowered. Drivers have a throttle key, a gear lever and a clutch pedal, as well as the usual foot-operated gong. All this equipment would have to be transferred at each stub terminal, where there was also a waiting supply of watering cans for filling the radiators. The only braking was by means of a handbrake at each end. Most visitors recall the trams as being quite nifty, with a top speed of about 25 miles an hour. The 10-mile system was mostly double track, but there were some sections of single line working.
approaching the main terminus at Boulder Market with its unusual roadside loading. Only cars heading for the port proceeded beyond this point. It is believed that the entire network closed altogether in 1972.